I want to introduce you to a fellow that now that deserves to be heard. I've known him for several years. He worked uh, the Reno, Tahoe area a lot. A great entertainer. And I really shouldn't say much about him because you'll find out when he gets out here how great he is. Tom Bresh. Welcome, Tom Bresh, please. Hello. Nice to be here, I'll tell you. It's my first trip down here. I was kind of raised around a guy that uh, came from Ebenezer, Kentucky. And uh, my style of playing is definitely from him. And I'm going to play a couple of songs right now and do this as a tribute to my musical father, Mr. Merle Travis. <laughs> This guitar here is a 1938 Martin D28 Dreadnought with a Bigsby neck. That's for you that may be guitar players out there. This guitar belonged to Merle Travis. This was his, and he wrote uh, 16 tons in this, Dark as a Dungeon, I Am a Pilgrim, Smoke, 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 That Cigarette. But he really liked playing it, and when he played it, the thing just talked, and it just kind of does it on its own. And here's an old song that was a Civil War song that uh, he always enjoyed playing called Farewell My Bluebell.
Thank you. People go to school just to learn how to teach. Others go to school just to learn how to preach. But if you can't preach without going to school, you ain't no preacher, you're an educated fool, and that's all. That's all. Better change your way of living For the good Lord's sake, that's all I know a man, he's a miser man He likes to hoard and keep all the money that he can But when that old undertaker goes and puts you down, down, down Where you gonna spend that money laying under the ground, that's all That's all You better change your way of living For the good Lord's sake That's all finished my little song is through didn't necessarily mean to sing the song directly at you if you don't like the way my little song goes it's a damn good sign that I've been tromping on your toes and that's all that's all you better change your way of living mama for the good Lord say that's all That's all That's all You better change your way of living For the good Lord say That's all Thank you for that one, Jerry. <laughs> That's all. Thank you. I would love to be able to pick a song with Chet Atkins while all this is on. Chester. <laughs> well, I'd, I'd love to have you up here, Chester. <laughs> Want me to do your line, Ted? That doesn't sound like me. You sound like Merle, though. I sound like Merle? I don't sound like, I sound like it. I don't want to intimidate you anything, Chet. <laughs> don't think it's going to happen, do you? <laughs> Here's a song that uh, Merle always ended with, and uh, just jump in there when you know what I'm playing here. <laughs> is he laughing, or is he getting ready to hit me across the head with a...
1968, I moved to Nashville, and I served 10 years up there. <laughs> and after a year or two, I began to get some work from Mr. Chet Atkins in records and et cetera, and I thought, boy, this guy is really nice to me. And then I found out he was nice to everybody. And in, uh, about a year ago, he introduced me to uh, Garrison Keeler and the Prairie Home Companion and Butch Thompson on the piano and Peter Ostrusko. A few years back, uh, Garrison Keeler and Butch Thompson and myself sat down in, in Garrison's office and wrote this song before the broadcast. It was done in the, in the midst of February where there was like about 10 feet of snow on the ground and the wind chill was God knows what, 80, 80 below or something. Uh, telling how uh, we Minnesotans deal with the cold weather in a little song called the Horizontal Hold. <laughs> One, two, three. Let's go upstairs, go back to bed. You get the chips, I'll get the spread. You grab the cat, let's go to bed. Grab those olives, smoked oysters too. Get the Oreos and the Mountain Dew. Butter popcorn in a bowl. Got color TV. Got remote control, play it, Johnny. Well, that fiddle sounds cold. Roach time. Yahtzee game and the rummy cube. More chocolate bars, more chicken wings. Two Michener books, three Stephen Kings. Chef. Okay, well, well, we'll do this little tune that uh, came to me. I don't know what I was doing at the time, but uh, Chet Atkins had a tune one time called uh, Galloping Guitar, and so this was something like Loping the Mandolin, or uh, <laughs> Mando Loping, I think, is what we finally wound up with to get by with it on the air. 
Here we go, Amanda Lopin. One, two, do it now. You know, I started listening to the Prairie Home Companion about uh, six years ago, I think, five or six years ago. And one of the best things on the show was this next guy. And Johnny loves him better than anyone, I think. He just, uh, he just... He sort of flips me, He flips say. out when, when he hears <laughs> Butch play piano. So, Butch Thompson. Welcome, Butch Do Thompson. Do it, Butch. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. This next one was written by a fellow who was 16 years old at the time that he wrote it, and that was back in 1899. His name was U.B. Blake, and it's a number called the Charleston Rag, Charleston Rag. Thank you. 
Thank you. I've got a cleverly hidden over here in the shrubbery. I've got another instrument. It's a clarinet. I'm going to see if I can get Chet to play something. Anybody want to know about my affair with Dolly Parton or anything like that? That's between me and her. Trisco and Butch Thompson from the Prairie Home Companion. What a pair. How would you like to draw to them? Do you want Roy to come up and make an announcement while you're waiting? You got 30 seconds, Roy, to do anything you want to do. Step on the fiddle. Sing one of your songs, maybe. Yeah, a quick one. Sing I'm Just a Bug on the Windshield right. of Life or something. He drove up in that big new car and gave a little toot in his horn. Drove off with the prettiest little girl who ever was born. He's in the driver's seat now. Beside him sits my wife. I've pitched this too high. And, <laughs> and I'm just a bug on the windshield of life. <laughs> We're going to have a fiddling contest. You know, back in... Uh, you didn't know Mr. Atkins played the fiddle, did you? He doesn't very much. <laughs> I tell you, that's not my fault. I, I came from uh, East Tennessee in Appalachia, where all those poor people are. And I was raised... Uh, on the wrong side of the tracks, kind of, and it was only natural for me to go into a life of petty crime and fiddling. <laughs>
City Limits with the great Chad Atkins and his guests Larry Carlton and Butch Thompson and all those other greats.